Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a quick tutorial on how, why, and when you should be stirring your cocktail. So the point of stirring your cocktail is obviously to chill it down and make it cold. And the other options of this would be shaking your cocktail on a cocktail shaker. Basically, rule of thumb is if you have fruit juice of any sort in it, you shake the cocktail. So if there's no fruit juice, if you just have like liquor and simple syrup and some bitters like an old fashioned, you stir the cocktail because shaking it will make the cocktail look cloudy. When, when you have a spirit forward drink, you want the spirit to look clear. You don't want it to look cloudy. So when you have a shaking cocktail, you shake it because it really blends the fruit juices and the sugars together and got it, got it, got it. really so mixes it. So I think like it. me, a lot of guys overlook this process. Like it's kind of easy to just stir every cocktail. Right. Or shake every cocktail, some people. So today you're gonna learn and I'm gonna learn how to stir a cocktail. So if you don't know how to stir a cocktail, the better equipment you have, the easier it will be. Oh. This bar spoon right here is about two fifty. Wait, two dollars and fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents. Oh, okay. This bar spoon right here is honestly a little obnoxious. They just were sold out of the shorter one, so I got the longer one. But this one is about twenty dollars. So ten times the price. They both stir cocktails. This one just makes it a lot easier to look that a one little looks bit cool, cooler. Dude. Yes, and honestly, you can do it in a pint glass or you can do it in a mixing glass. This just makes more cocktails. This makes one cocktail, this makes two or three. Okay. And the key to doing it, honestly, is the more ice you have, the easier it is. So, I'll stir it in both. I'll stir with this guy first. And what you want to do is you want to get in there so you reach down to the bottom of the glass and then you just want to, it's really like a back and forth motion with your fingers. So your arm's not really moving, just to your wrist. Yeah, and you want to hold the bottom of your, of the glass with this, the other hand. So it's, you get a, a good stir going and the, the spiral of the spoon will really help you get in there. And the goal is basically when you have sugar in there that you're pulling the sugar off the bottom and mixing it around. So then you go in one like this and it looks like this, which makes it look a lot easier, if you can see what I'm saying. But, like I said, you can do it also with the 250 bar spoon. I noticed that it was the easier jam that in versus that one. See, look, now I'm like, I'm not as smooth. Yeah. It's, it's kind of difficult. This is just not long enough to get in there, but. Yeah, spend $20 and get the better one. Yeah, so <laughs> now I'm gonna have Blake try with both of these. I, I will give you the 250 spoon first. And then what you wanna do is put it in between these two fingers and have your thumb right here. Yes. And then just kind of work. I'm using my arm. Wow. I guess I'm not as good at my forearms as you are, man. You're actually trying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> terrible. <laughs> All right. So, All it right. does take a while to learn, but it is a good skill. And it Maybe does. it was just that one. Let's try this one. I'm a, I'm a gold guy. This is gold. There you go. Kind of, right? You see? But that looks 100% better, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's very, it's like, smooth now. And there you have it. Well, here, now try in this glass. Let, let me add a little more ice for you, though. So this is a ton of ice. I'll give this a shot. You know what? I kind of want to go home and make cocktail now. Or here. All smooth. See? Like I said, the equipment matters. It does. And I mean, granted, the, the drink will still get cold, the drink will still get mixed. This will just kind of up your your visuals. So if you're, you know... I think this is more impressive. If you're making cocktails for your boss or girlfriend, somebody you're trying to impress or show that you have some cocktail knowledge and some cocktail skill, yeah. the better I mean, equipment will make you look that much better. Which one looks more impressive? Any girl's gonna choose this one. That one's skinnier though. 
Depends on what you're into. <laughs> it does. It does. Girth or length. But anyways, guys, that's the importance of stirring your cocktails and having the right equipment to do so. So basically, know that the more ice you have, the easier it is to stir. Um, the better cocktail bar spoon you can have, it honestly helps to have a, a little bit of a weight at the top and a more thin spiral than a, this kind of thick guy that it's got going on. And if you have a mixing glass, it also makes it a lot easier and your presentation will be that much better. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like us on Instagram at Jen's Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jen's Lounge, and check out all our other cocktail recipes at jenslounge.com. Thanks, guys. Thanks.